Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. You're about to save your life because God's specific plan for you is about to unfold and you're going to live your purpose. If you aren't already living your purpose, this is confirmation for you to start because you don't want to miss out. The time is ticking. You got some things to do. You, 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 you've got some wonderful, amazing things to get done because you are about to live your purpose and your whole dream, your whole life, your whole goals and achievements are about to unfold. Let's get right into it. Whatever you enjoy doing, whatever you're passionate about, whatever you would like to do full time for yourself and make a career out of it, you need to start doing it right now because you're about to live your purpose and your dreams are about to unfold. God wants you to go all out. He doesn't want you to waste any time. He doesn't want you to second guess yourself. He doesn't want you to play around. He wants you to take this thing serious. He wants you to go all out. He wants you to become fascinated with what it is you want to be. Start doing research on it. Start buying some books on it. Start taking some classes on it because you're going to want to be able to do the best job you can do. You're going to want to be able to perform at your highest ability. All right, you're going to want to be able to perform at the highest rate you can perform. You're not going to want to do any less. Somebody needs you out there. Somebody needs your skill. Somebody needs your talent. Somebody need, not only do you need to do your best, but somebody out there needs you to do your best. Somebody out there is waiting on you. And that's why you're here. You are here to spark a mind. You are here to do something that's going to get somebody else revved up. You're here to make somebody else go after their dream and their goal and want to be successful. But they're only going to want to do it when they see you. Because when they, when they look at you, they're going to see themselves in you. And that's why you don't have an option. You were put here to go do that thing that you always love doing. That thing that you love to do. That thing that no matter what, how tired you are, no matter how much you may not feel like doing it, you still go do it anyway. That, that thing that you love to do, all right? That thing that you just can't get enough of that thing that makes you feel special, that thing that makes you feel great, that thing that, that gives your life uh, a, a, a difference between other people's lives, the thing that makes you feel alive, the thing that you, you, you just can't wait to do when you wake up every day and, and you, you can't not help but do it before you go to sleep at night. You probably even go out and do it on your break when you're at work. You think about it and dream about it and, and wish that you were doing it. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, start doing it because sooner or later, you're going to want to do that full time. And the only way that you can start is by making it your purpose. The only way that you can begin is by going full, full fledged with it, not taking any more time out for anything else that you don't need to. But you're going to want to take your passion seriously. You're going to want to take your dream seriously, that thing that makes you feel great. When people try to make you feel like you're nothing, when people try to make you feel like you don't exist, when people try to make you feel like you're not important, when people try to make you feel, make you feel like whatever it is you love to do doesn't have any value, they try to treat it like it's worth nothing because they can see that you love to do it. You need to go do that and you need to go become that. And, and make yourself that. Make something out of your life with that. 
because that's what you were put here to be. And the moment you start doing that, your whole life is going to change. Your whole life is going to change because you're going to fully see how you can impact other people's lives and your life by doing this. It's very important and very vital for your survival that you take your your purpose seriously. It's something that you were put here to do. Think about that. Everybody is put here to do something. Everybody was put here to do something. And you were put here to do that thing that you love the most. That thing that you just you just can't put it down. Think about it all the time. You, you think about it all the time. You see yourself doing it. You dream yourself doing it. You've probably actually had some real dreams of yourself doing this thing thinking about how successful you could become and then you fall asleep and then you have a dream of yourself doing it. Yeah, you should be doing that in real life, in real time, becoming successful with that because God wants to use you for that purpose because that's your purpose. Believe it or not, that thing that you love to do so much that you can't get enough of, that's what you were put here to be, not here to work for somebody else not here to work somebody else's job for the rest of your life. No, God gave you a purpose before you were sent here. You know, he knew you in your mother's womb and all that good stuff. Well, he knew you were were uh, supposed to be doing that gift that he gave you, that he specifically gave to you. Some other people might have that gift. Some other people may be out doing that. That might be some other people's thing too. But don't doubt yourself because there's only one you and nobody's going to be able to to do it like you do it. Nobody's going to be able to do you like you do you. There are a million people that are doing what you're trying to do or that you what you want to do or what your passion is, what your purpose is. But only you are going to uniquely do it the way you do it. You're, You're going to leave your print on it, your fingerprint on it. It's only one you with the with those fingerprints. God made um, God made all the people that He made. He created all the people that He created, and don't nobody got the same fingerprints. Isn't that wild? Isn't that Isn't that wild? God created all, all as many people that are on this on this earth right here and right now, and nobody has the same fingerprints. That's amazing, right? So no matter how many people are out there doing the same thing that you you see yourself doing, don't be discouraged because nobody can do it the way you do it. Nobody's going to be able to put it down the way you put it down. Nobody's going to be able to make people pick it up the way you put it down. You The way you put it down, that's how it's going to be picked up. That's how people are going to perceive it. That's how people are, are, are going to take it exactly how you do it. All right, is how how you do it has never been done before. Out of all the people who've done it, how you're going to do it has never been done that way. That's that's an incredible thing. That should motivate you. You're 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 special, you're unique in your own way. Everybody that's here on earth, everybody that's alive right now, don't no one has the same fingerprint. You have to leave your fingerprint on that thing that you love to do, no matter how many people are doing it. You got to leave your prints on it. You got to leave your stain on it. You got to leave your mark on it. Because when you leave here, you want people to be like, yo, he did that. She did that. No, No matter how much time got in between, doesn't matter if you procrastinated, doesn't matter if you didn't believe in yourself, it's time for you to make it happen now. Don't wait any longer. What what are you what are you what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You got to ask yourself that what am I waiting for? Maybe you got some blocks to where somebody um you you you, you might have some discouragement in the way. You might have some some negative vibes in the way that you got to clear out. Maybe it's, it's a voice in the back of your mind telling you that you're not good enough. I'm here to tell you today that that's false. That's a false God. That's a false reality. 
You're definitely good enough. You're more than good enough. You're more than great. It may need to be developed, but you're still great. You're still going to be successful at it. If you take the time and hone that skill and perfect that craft, there's there's nothing that you can do. There's nothing that you can't do with it. And that's why you, you no matter how many people will do a thing, when you spend time with it, you're going to be able to do it uniquely the way that you do it. It's just like spending time with a person. People can spend time with someone. Everybody could spend time with someone, but it's going to be a different experience for, for each person. It's going to be different when he spends time with someone, when she spends time with someone, versus when, when you spend time with someone. We're all people, and we're all able to spend time with each other, but depending on the person, it's going to, it's going to be a different experience. Depending on who's doing it, who's performing the craft, it's going to be a different experience. You may have learned somebody somebody else's way you may have started doing it the, the a way someone else did it maybe that's how you learn but the more you do that you're going to see like oh, okay this is how it's done i don't have to i don't have to trace it anymore i figured out my own way i, I found my own way that was just how god had me learn how to do what i needed to do now it's time to have fun with it now it's time to be creative now it's time to really draw this thing out. Now it's really time to, to do my thing with this particular craft. It's, you, you, you can't hold back. You can't hold back because you, you got a whole dream that's about to unfold. This is, this is your purpose. This is what you love to do. When you, you got, that's why you got to do what, something that you love to do. Because e e even when you feel like giving up, you're going to keep going. Even when things don't look like it's going to work out, you're going to keep going because you know that you know, I was put here for a reason to do this. So I'm like the outside forces, things that look like it's not going to work. If I keep pushing, if I keep creating, if I keep choosing to do this, a door is going to open up. A valley is going to be made. A way is going to be made when there's no way. Something is going to give. Something is going to come. A, 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 a good thing is going to come from this. I just know it. You can't say the word believe without having the word lie in it. There's some things you like when you say yours, when you say something to yourself over and over and over again, even though it's a lie, you'll believe it. And that could be either positive or negative. When you tell yourself, oh, I'm not good enough, that's a lie. But if you tell yourself that enough, you'll believe it. People only, people have been programmed to do that with negative things. If you're gonna if you're gonna lie to yourself and eventually believe it, why not make it something positive? People will tell themselves, and I mean this is a, a flat out lie. I'm not good enough. I can't do that. You tell yourself that over and over again, that'll become a reality to where your mind will be blocked. The possibility for you being able to do that will be blocked. You won't be able to see it. And if you can't see it, you can't be it. If you can't see it, you can't be it. So you might as well say something positive to yourself, even if you don't believe it at first. Even if it sounds robotic. It doesn't matter because sooner or later you're going to believe it. That's why the word lie is in believe. You even have to lie to yourself to believe. So if you're going to say a lie and eventually believe it, make it something that's worthwhile. Make it something that will change your life. Something said over and over and over and over again is going to seep into the deep regions of your subconscious mind. And is eventually it's going to grow because when you say something to yourself, it's like planting a seed. But when you continue to say it, it's like watering that seed. And what happens when you plant a seed and you water it and you water it and you water it, eventually it's going to grow. And eventually that tree or that bush or that whatever is going to bear some kind of fruit. It's going to bear some type of vegetable. Something is going to come from that seed. So you might as well plant a positive one.
you might as well plant a positive seed so something positive will grow into your life and and let it let it let it be a positive result. Let it be something that is is goal oriented for you. Let it be something that has to do with your purpose. Let it be something that has to do with the reason why you are here. For real. Because what 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 else what else what, what do you have to lose for telling yourself something positive about you even if you don't believe it at first? I understand. Well, I don't believe that. Or, well, that sounds crazy. Well, you got to be crazy enough to make things happen for yourself because people are going to tell you that it can't happen. People are going to tell you that you can't make that a reality for yourself. People are going to tell you that you may not be good enough. <clears throat> people are going to tell you that you, you don't have the skills to do it. You still have to believe in it enough. And that's why you have to choose something that you love to do because you have to believe in it enough because you have to love you have to love what you do enough no matter what to where even when it seems like people don't see it for you you see it for you they try to put doubt in your mind they try to make you think it's not going to happen they try to make you think that you can't do it but it has to be something that you love so much that even even if you don't think you can do it, you're still going to give an effort. You're, you're going to do it until you think you can do it. We are, what, 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 what's the point of, of tr re reading that book, I Think I Can, and then not taking that with you for the rest of your whole entire life? Some people, you know, some people that was a seed. That Some people that was the seed. Was for me. I'm, that was the seed. But the thing is, people will look at you and judge you based off all the things that you could have done but didn't do. If it wasn't something you wanted to do, maybe you're just not here for that. Maybe you're goal oriented. Maybe you're purpose oriented. Maybe that's why you haven't done anything yet because you're not doing what you want to do. Maybe you don't have any drive for life because you're not doing something that you love to do. Maybe you're one of those people who's put here to be great. Not a maybe. I know you're here to be great, but just for the sake of the video, maybe not, maybe because you, you may be looking at your life like, well, I haven't done anything yet, or well, what am I going to do, or I don't know what to do, that you're going to do the thing that you love to do. And if, you, if it's something that you love to do, you, and you're not doing it, you're not going to be motivated. You're not going to be motivated to do things that you don't want to do, and maybe the reason why you're not doing the things you don't want to do is because that's not what you love to do. Maybe deep down inside, there's something that you were put here to do, which is a, a truth, which is a reality. You just have to turn it into one because you were put here to do something, so you might as well do what you love to do. That crappy job, you don't love doing that. That boring behind nine to five, sitting behind that desk, sitting in that chair, you don't love doing that. You love getting paid. And I ain't mad, I ain't mad, I ain't mad at you. You know me, I'm not mad at somebody who loves to get paid. All right? Must be, must be the money. All right, I'm not mad at you for that. Must be the money. All right, I'm not mad at you. But the thing is, you have to, when you, know, when you do something that you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. When I Like, there are just certain things that when you are moving in the right direction and you ask you ask God to lead you in the right direction. You start hearing things. They're going to change your life. Like this it's just certain things that are going to stick with you for the rest of your life that you, you'll hear. And when you're, when you're, uh, when you're driven enough to go out and keep doing it, even when it's not producing anything, even when it looks like you're about to fail at life, because if, if, if you if you love to do something, I'm here to tell you right now, it's going to be a time to where it's, it ain't nothing coming from it. Nothing is happening. Because, uh, nothing is happening when you're doing it, and you could potentially get demotivated. But you have to keep going regardless, and know that sooner or later, one day, that something is going to come because of it. Don't just sit around and not do anything, but also. You have to want to do it bad enough that when you when you have free time and you're not doing the things that you are forced to do or you're you have to do, 
you're going to take your time seriously enough because this is something that you really want to do. You have to be driven. You got to have the drive to do it. And it's got to be something that makes you driven. It's got to be something that makes you want to get up and go, even when you don't feel like it, because you want to you want to be that that bad. You want to do it that bad. That's why when you choose something that you love to do, you're on your purpose. When you choose something that you were put here to do and you can you can feel it within your heart of hearts, you're on your purpose. And even if it, it takes some time for that that fruit to to be to to bear, every every person has their season. It may not be your season yet, but don't get discouraged and don't let other people discourage you because nothing is coming from it just yet. Sometimes you have to keep working and keep working and keep working and keep working on something even when nothing is coming from it because that's the time where you're honing your your skill. That's the time where you're perfecting your craft. That's the time where you're, you're learning all the ins and outs. You're learning how to do it, how not to do it how to do it your own specific special way. That's the time you have to put in to learn how to put your fingerprint on it. So that way when you do it, no no one will be able to say, yo, this is like uh, this one or that's like that one or they won't be they won't be able to confuse you with anybody else. You got to spend so much time with it that when you spend enough time with it, people will be like, yo, that you 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 got you know you you are in your own lane. You have your own thing with this. There's so many people that have done this, but nobody's been able to do it the way that you do it. Nobody's been able to do it the way you do it. That's how you got to feel about it. And it, it may sound egotistical, but it's nothing wrong with your ego as long as you're not trying to destroy anybody else or as long as you're not out here um, just, just using it in a negative way. You have to use your ego in a positive way to where you're uplifting yourself and not putting other people down. There's nothing wrong with that. If you feel so great about yourself that it, you can go out and do something and, and have it have a positive impact on other people's lives. Like look at, look at all the other successful people out there. They have some full blown egos, but they, they use it in a way to where they put in so much work ethic that is undeniable. You can't say this person has an ego. All you can say is this person believes in themselves. This person is driven. This person has drive. This person is motivated. This person really wants to do this thing. And that's all you can say. And when you really spend time with what it is you love to do, that's all they're going to be able to say about you. So you're. I'm telling you, you are about to live an amazing life. All you have to do is stop waiting. All you have to do is pick up your purpose and start to work on it and your your life will start to unfold. Plans will start to unfold. Continue to ask God to guide you in the right direction with what you want to do and what you want to be with your life because what you ask for, it will be given to you. You're going to be living a life that you love. You're going to be doing something that you love. You're not just going to have to, to do something and it be boring and energy draining and tiring and unfulfilling. You're not going to have to live a life like that if you don't choose to. You still may have to do other things on the side, but you have to put in enough time with what you love to where you, you're going to be able to do it full time one day. That's what all those hours and dedication and all that time and all that effort and all that I don't feel like it and I'm going to still do it anyway. And even if I just do it for five minutes, it still counts. It, all that adds up after a while because it, it, each and whether it's big or whether it's a whether it's a big effort or, or if it's a small effort, you still lay the brick. Whether you lay five bricks one day and, and one and a half brick or a half a brick or whatever brick the next day, you still laid a brick. You still did something. And that's all you have to do. When you, Whatever you do today is laying the precedent for tomorrow in your mind for you to be able to keep going, for you to be able to keep growing. So it, it, it's something that will help you when you feel discouraged because that discouragement, it will come. 
when you're working on something and it's something that you love to do, it's going to be a period where nothing is showing from it. You're like, yo, it's just straight crickets. You know, it's just, it's just I'm looking and it's just like air. It's, it's nothing there. But that's the time period where if you don't give up, you'll be able to look back one day when you're able to do what it is you do like that. And it's just easy. It's just going to come so easy to you. You're going to look back and be like, yo, all that time and all that effort wasn't for nothing. All, all that that love that I had for my, my craft, my skill, it is going to pay off. It's going to pay off, I'm telling you. Even, even when it doesn't seem like all the hard work and the, the energy that you're putting into it isn't getting you anywhere, keep going. It's just a period or a process or a, a part of the process of having to go through something to, to get something. Everybody had to go through a period uh, of nothing to get something. But during those periods, it's not nothing. It just seems like it. You're, you're earning money in a different way. You're, you're earning the ability to be able to earn money. You're earning the ability to be able to bear fruit. You're earning the ability to be able to do what it is you love to do when nothing is coming from it. That's why you're about to save your life because otherwise you wouldn't have a life. You, you would be dull. You would be dreary. You would be bored. You would be unhappy. I'm here to tell you today to save your life while you have the chance. When you, when you work on your purpose, you're saving your life. When you do what it is you love to do, you're saving your life. And a sp God's specific plan for you is about to unfold. When you live your purpose, when you work on your, your dream. Because that's why he put you here. That was his whole plan for you. His whole plan for you was to come here to work on what you're supposed to be working on, doing what you're supposed to be doing, not giving up even when it seems like nothing's coming from it. All right. When it seems like nothing is happening, when it seems like when it seems like no one's listening, no one's there, no one cares. And then sooner or later, you're going to get the results that you want. Sooner or later, you're going to be able to live the life that you want. Sooner or later, you're going to be able to be the person that you want to be. You're going to be able to do that thing that you always wanted to do. You just have to go through the time periods of the ups and downs and not being able to do it full time. And it's it, and you got to want it bad enough to where it, it, it like almost hurts. It's like, yo, this is what I want to do. When, when you're away from it, it's like all, it's all you could think about. You have to do that thing. When you're away from it, when you're at your job, when you're you're someplace else other than what doing what it is you want to do is always on your mind. You do that thing right there, you're going to save your life and you're going to save other people's lives because you're going to send a message out to someone who's supposed to see you. That's going to be like, yo, I can do what I want full time. I can be what I want to be full time. And that's how you know you're living your purpose when you're putting yourself potentially placing yourself in a position to be that. All that untapped potential, you need to tap into it. All that that stored up uh, drive and energy, you need to tap into it. You don't have all that that uh, drive for a reason. You don't have for no reason. You don't have all that energy for no reason. You're supposed to be using it to work on the thing that you love to do. Start doing it today. I don't care if you have to wake up early, plan for it, plan for it. You should love it. It has to be something that you love to do. People, people are crazy about things that they love to do. You got to be crazy about the thing that you love to do. So that way you could be crazy enough to get what it is you want. That way you could be crazy enough to, to have the life that you want. Because there's some things out there that you deserve and you're only going to be, you're only going to get it when you start living your purpose. You're only going to get it. Your, your, your dream for you, your God's specific plan for you is only going to unfold when you start living your purpose. You got to do it now. Can't waste any more time. Start believing in yourself. Even if you have to lie to yourself. The word lie is in believe. Say it to yourself enough that you can do it 
that you are that, you feel like you're the one who can be that, sooner or later it's going to seep in. That's what's going to grow in your mind that you can have that, you can be that. Start doing it today. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button, smash the share button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We out.